Welcome back. It's 817 and time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Liz and Mike from 1051 The Buzz joining us live. Good morning. Morning. Morning, guys. Good morning. morning. All right. Miley says she's not going to be going on tour anytime soon at all. <laughs> Yeah, so she did this big interview with British Vogue and she talked about how unnatural it is to go and perform on a stage where there's like 100,000 people because you're just there on the stage by yourself. It feels very lonely and it just feels unsafe. And it's not like this huge revelation saying she's not going to go on tour because the last time she toured was in 2014 to promote her Bangers album. So like it's been a solid nine years at this point. But she said she prefers performing in front of small groups, friends, like a more intimate setting. So we might be able to see her do tiny things like that or, you know, maybe like award ceremonies. But other than that, she has no plans anytime soon. Huh. Hmm. I, I, I get it. Touring seems exhausting and very high stress. So I understand as an artist if that would not be your favorite thing in the world. Well, that and they're always when they're on tour, on the tour buses and traveling. I think about when I go on a road trip, if I stop at a gas station, I'm getting combos and M&Ms every time. And if you're doing that every day, multiple times a day, yeah. I can't even tell you how out of control I would be at that point. <laughs> Valid. I Valid. mean, trying to sleep in a bus on the road, like I, I wouldn't get any sleep at yeah. all, you know? Yeah. No, it's a terrible lifestyle if you sit back and think about it. A lot of artists do do tours, though, because that is a big portion of their cash flow. She has been famous as a child. Her dad was mm -hmm. famous. She definitely doesn't need the excess cash. But this makes me so sad because there's three celebrities I stand in Hollywood. There is Tom Brady, Chris Evans, and Miley Cyrus. <laughs> and now I'm not going to get to see her on tour unless she comes here and does a private show. And I'm, that makes me sad. Well, maybe she'll do some small shows, you know? You might just have to travel to see her. Mm -hmm. Also. Fingers all, crossed. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's also, also hopeful. Right. Yeah. Okay, so live action, live action Little Mermaid is coming out uh, soon. I am very excited for this movie. Yeah. There have been some changes from the original, though, that the internet is reacting to. Uh, they're very frustrated because Scuttle is not a seagull. He is what is called a North Gannett, which is one of the largest seabirds that can actually dip into the water a little bit more than a seagull. And the internet's angry because they just want to make sure he still goes, whoa, whoa. <laughs> as long as we keep that and kiss the girl i don't think we really care because i couldn't tell he wasn't a seagull i'm not a bird enthusiast apparently if you look a little closer you're like oh i guess it's not but i mean it's it's a bird it's fine yeah right? like it just it, I, I don't know that just doesn't seem like that big of a I deal i mean none none of the little friends because it's live action like none of them really look like you know sebastian just looks like a crab like, I, he doesn't quite have the sebastian face and flounder I haven't seen Flounder's a look at Flounder yet. Flounder looks Oh my gosh, like... they made him skinny. They made yeah. him skinny. I'm more upset about a skinny Flounder than I am <laughs> the bird species changing yeah. to a different Yeah, Flounder bird. is not this cute little fish that you want to grab by the fins and kiss anymore. Like, it's just oh, not. Oh, it's like a, like a scary fish now? He looks like an actual fish fish now, and oh, it's a little disconcerting. Interesting. Well, the actual Flounder fish is a pretty narrow fish. They that's just true. made him more you know compliant with what the animal is but i can't stand this move like why change him from a seagull first off the gannet is not indigenous to the caribbean at all it is indigenous <laughs> to canada south africa and i've done way too much research on I was this about to, to say, care mike you have googled stuff before this mike today <laughs> <laughs> yeah why does scuttle have to be a bird that is not a seagull yeah. I, think, I think that's that's fun. i was in the same boat though. i haven't seen flounder but I almost forgot that like Sebastian was a crab and not a lobster because he looks more like a lobster to me in the original. Oh, yeah, and right. then I saw this and he's a crab. I was like, that's not Sebastian. Yeah, he's oh, a Oh, wait, crab. he's a crab. Yeah, yeah that's he right. Is. I don't know. I've kind of accepted that all of them are going to look a little weird because it's live action and it's different. I'm but... still looking forward to it. I'm excited. Yeah, as long as the, all the music is still there that I love, I mm -hmm. think it'll be a great show. You just have to have the wah wah. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't love, know if I the Northern Connect can make those noises, but a seagull certainly could. <laughs> <laughs> Time will tell. Find out in theaters yeah. this weekend. Uh huh. <laughs> if we need to dub it over, Liz, we know who to call. When this we're calling is true. You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Bye. Guys. And you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz. All right.